Hi, Ian here from BeAWinningTrader.com. Um, we're just going to look at the price action analyzing a single vertical bar on the Dow Jones 30 cash market. Now, I cannot stress enough how important analyzing or being able to analyze correctly a single vertical bar and then with that being able to take signals from it, how important it is. Yes, price action is much more than being able to analyze a single vertical bar, but just having the power of knowing how to use this information just by the single vertical bar, the open high low close of that bar, and reading the price action within that setup, how important it is. Now, if we look back to where the arrow is pointing here, this is, um, which uh, again, we have we've discussed this in, in a previous video, but the price action and that whole move up the amount of points that was available in there, just reading a single vertical bar and taking the signals from that was very great indeed. But what I want to look at today, which is um, the weekend of the 11th, um, 10th and 11th of January 2015, I want to look at the last um, number of trading days, um, especially since Christmas. But in fact, we're going to look at the, the trading days um, starting from Boxing Day, the 26th. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because the signals that you would have got um, just using a single vertical bar and um, utilizing that information into taking a, a signal um, was actually very great. Um, it's something that's very worthwhile looking at and for people to um, study. Now, um, I would first want to put up a I want to put up a data window here, please, so that I can. Um, give the, the correct um, figures. But this day here, uh, um, as per my arrow here, is the day of the 26th, as you can see over here, the 26th of the 12th, 2014, and it is the close. And yes, it was a small range day. You can see that by, by the, the high price up here and the low price of the bar. It was a, a low range day, which is understandable. It's over Christmas. And the UK markets would have been closed, but the American markets were open. Now again, the selling pressure was greater in that bar than the buying pressure. So therefore, because it's a daily bar, that meant that on the 26th, there was greater selling pressure than there was buying pressure. And the close of that particular bar was at 18.053. Now, if we took that as a sell signal based on the negative price action, and you continue to monitor the next day. Again, you'll see a very small range day on the 27th of December, 29th, sorry. And that there is still a close negative, and the close that particular day, looking over here, was 18,038. So your sell signal was at 53, or around 50, say, and it's now at 38. So you're only, up, you're only up a few points. You're only up 12, 15, 17 points, whatever the case may be. But again, there was nothing to take you out of the trade. The next day again, again, what was there? The selling pressure was greater than the buying pressure, so you still would have stayed in that trade. The next day then, when the market started to open up a little bit, and it was, I think, the 31st or the 12th, that's correct, you can see now the range of that day was so much greater. Again, what was there? Was a greater buying pressure or selling pressure? Well, again, there was greater selling pressure because the close was down here, the high was up here, so therefore it closed towards the lows. And th that particular day, the, the close now was at 17,823. Remember, up here on the 26th, you would have sold it at 18,053 or 18,050 if you want to look, allow for a little bit of slippage. But anyway, over the next, from that day to this day, the market fell 679 points. Now, I know that you will never get in at the top and you'll never get out at the bottom or vice versa if you're buying you'll never get in at the bottom and out at the top but with proper money management techniques you would certainly have got yourself almost 600 points trading day or 600 points profit in six trading days now assuming that you were trading the um the Dow Jones at £10 per point on one of the spread betting um, companies, with one of the spread betting companies rather, it would have given you, it would have equated into about a £6,000 profit, even at £1 per point was £600 over six trading days. 
How powerful is that? Just analyzing, being able to analyze and take a signal from that, a single vertical bar. Now I can assure you, and please, there is much more to price action than analyzing a single vertical bar. And that is actually why we do um, a training program that um, begins with a, a workshop that lasts for one day and it continues then by um, um, numerous um, weekly webinars where we discuss the whole aspects of price action and um, what we do teach in our beginning on our um, workshop is we, we teach the vertical bar trading pattern. Now, um, putting the vertical bar trading pattern coupled with the price action um, of any chart and any market um, gives it a very proper trading strategy. But this is just getting away from any vertical bar trading pattern. This is just by, by able to take signals of a single vertical bar. Now, we come along here on this is the 6th of the 1st. Again, it was a bearish day. But what happened the very next day, instead of it taking out the, the low, which it had a greater probability of doing, and what it should have done, it went and took out the high. Now, if something like this happens in such a positive way, in other words, it was very bullish, in other words, the market quickly reversed, that then gives a very strong signal in the opposite direction. So the very next day, on the 7th, that market made a high of 17.597. The previous day's high was 17.581 as per over here and it closed at 17.584 if memory serves me correct it closed yes at 17.584 so again remember it should have taken the low out it didn't it took the high out a bullish signal what the market go and do the very next day which was thursday of the 8th of january it moved 326 points so can you imagine taking a simple signal based on a single vertical bar, you got a large portion of down move, and now you got over a one day period, a large portion of an up move. Now, admittedly on Friday, the market has reversed within Thursday's price bar. So this is quite significant because um, this does not negate the bullish price action of Thursday's price bar until it actually takes the low out of 17.591, which is where it started from. So there's two key levels here going into the new trading week, which is the low of 17.591 and the high of 17.916. And those are the two levels that I am personally looking for for the Dow Jones this coming week, um, and certainly for the beginning, the, 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 first, the first part of the week. I'm looking at 17.591 and 17.5. 916 are the two trading levels but with proper price action you got a big with proper money management you got a big proportion of the down move and you got certainly you've locked in profits after this up move and you're watching these two levels for a continuation of the bullish signal or for a reversal now if it breaks 17591 to the downside we're then going to be into a probability of the market coming down and taking out the low of 17.262. And that there is going to be significant. So watch those two levels for this coming week. And please keep looking at those single vertical bars and watching where they are, what they're indicating, and where the greater pressure is, whether it's buying or whether it's selling. Now again, as I said to you earlier, if you wish to take the price action studies um, further, and you wish to attend our training program, please go onto our website. You first of all can sign up for a free coaching session in which I'll explain um, everything more in detail and perhaps help you on your way um, in maybe correcting some mistakes that you're presently making in your trading. But as I said to you, we start our training program with a workshop that lasts for one day from where we introduce the vertical bar trading pattern. And when you couple this vertical bar trading pattern with price action, it gives you a very positive, strong, and a very professional way to trade the markets. Thank you very much for listening. And um, I hope to see you um, on the next video. All the best. Bye-bye.